Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we are going to talk Goose Creek candles. So, I recently made a purchase at Goose Creek. I ordered nine candles, which I know seems like a lot, but it had been since, I want to say last October or November since I placed an order. So I actually didn't have many Goose Creek candles on hand at all. Now, I have been sharing in my postpartum reviews that some of them have been giving me some sooting and things like that, which I don't love. But overall, some of their scents are so unique and all candles kind of have issues. So I decided to place this order because I recently found out that they released their cereal candle collection. And that was actually the first collection of candles that I had tried from Goose Creek. So they had some new scents. They look, seemed really interesting. Um, I did end up getting one broken candle. So let's talk about that first. But first off, happy Friday. We made it. It's the weekend. I hope that some of you guys have a weekend of Saturday and Sunday. I do enjoy that. Monday through Friday is crazy, but the weekends we just chill. I get to work on my videos. The boys play their video games. We're kind of boring people like that, but we love it. Um, so I hope you all have some kind of plans to enjoy this nice weather. And um, I hope it's getting nicer where you're at. I'm kind of hearing that up in the north that it's getting 60s and 70s. So spring is getting here. And so I'm happy about that. Um, let's jump in with the broken candle. So I did place an order for two banana puddings and one came shattered. So this is really shattered. Like you can feel there's a ton of broken glass under this label that's a wrap around, um, which made me really sad. But let me tell you, I called my number linked in. They asked who I was. They asked which candles were broken. I told them she typed a couple things and said, okay, I've got another candle out to you. I let her know that the packaging was amazing. It was like several pieces of cardboard, two crates, two more crates to fill the space, and then cardboard. So it was like really packed well. Um, Goose Creek candle holders are a little bit more of a tighter fit than your Bath & Body Works, but I think it's because they do ship a lot, maybe, or it's just a different size. I'm not sure. But I, I really have never had any issues. And I didn't feel like this was an issue because things happen. So that's shipped to me. And then she gave me a $5 gift card for my inconvenience, which I didn't think was necessary. But that's cool. So I have eight candles to share with you today. But I think I'm going to do a little candle doctor situation and find an empty vessel to stick that one in because it smells amazing. And we're going to just start with that one. So I did order two. So one came unbroken. So I can share that with you. And if you remember, we learned about Aries Ashley that this is her favorite Goose Creek candle. I had placed this order before that video had gone up. So I thought that was funny. I was like, oh girl, I got two of your favorite candles on the way. Um, she had shared it in a large jar, but they had just recently come out in the three wick. And this is a wraparound style of packaging. They have some scent notes here. This is just three. So if they have more, sometimes if you know Goose Creek, they'll have like eight scent notes in a candle. But the scent notes are banana. So this one in the description online I wrote down because I use my phone to film. The banana filling, vanilla pudding, and whipped cream. And this smells so authentic. So authentic. Like, I sort of get a banana Laffy Taffy right off the bat. But then you, t you could really get a nice big old heap of the whipped cream. And you get real banana pieces. Like, I can smell the banana pudding, which is kind of like that Laffy Taffy scent as well as real banana pieces, which they're both sweet, but there is a difference if you've ever had this dessert. And I also get a little bit of that vanilla wafer crisp cookie in here, nothing too sweet. There's nothing like cookie, like, you know, your different kinds of cookies. It just smells like there's some kind of crisp vanilla wafer in here, but I could not wait to get this. And I ordered two, so I'm gonna find a way to use that. We're not letting that wax go in the garbage, but I gotta be careful because there's like a hundred broken pieces. The next one, so I'll do the non-serial candles first. So this one, they've had this collection for several years. They they add different scents that they already have into these, like I call them Ray Dunn dupes. I don't know if there's an actual name for the collection. I've had Bless Your Heart because when I came down to Kentucky, I learned what that meant. It was both good and bad. This time I picked up Family and it was more so for the scent Sugared Pralines. So Sugared Pralines has notes of Charleston praline, caramel, milk, nut butter, vanilla, pecan, <clears throat> or pecan, vanilla bean, and sugar. So this just smells like candied, like pecans. It's so good. It kind of smells like the pecan clusters. 
but there's not a chocolate presence here, but this smells so authentic to those desserts. Like my grandma used to do that a lot, like just, you know, cook up some sugar, um, add some butter and things to it and like sprinkle some nuts in and make her own candy. So this kind of smells like homemade candy to me, but heavy on the caramel, you get vanilla, you definitely get the pecan or pecan, but that's basically what a praline is, is just the candied nut cluster type of thing, I think. I think that's right. So there's the second candle. And then the only other one I grabbed that wasn't a cereal candle was this one called Movie Date. So this was the first candle I wanted to pick up when everyone was kind of getting those Valentine's Day candles and I wasn't sure what I wanted to order. This one sounded intriguing to me. So Movie Date is warm butter, freshly popped popcorn, vanilla, and coconut. And while I really get the warm, like, buttered popcorn. It's not sweet popcorn. This is buttered popcorn, but there is a sweetness in here and I, I keep smelling it because I wouldn't say it's vanilla or coconut. I'd almost say it's more like a kettle corn sweetness, but like maybe like a sugar. But anyways, it says coconut and vanilla. So we're going to see, but I can tell on coal, this one's going to be quite nice on burn. I can really tell. It's just got like enough of a presence on coal. I mean, I've been tricked before, but it does seem like it's going to be nice. So then I went ahead and picked up four different cereal candles. Now I've tried almost all of them. I had tried the cookies one before, the Fruit Loops one, the Pink Berry. So I got ones I hadn't tried before and mostly the newer ones that they came out with this year. And like you guys, I'm a giant child. Like I wanted these candles. Like I wanted backups of these candles. So the first one I grabbed was Honey Crisp, which is like your honeycomb cereal. This is Honey Butter Crunchy Cereal and Vanilla. And it's really, the, the honey does smell like honey butter, not like straight up honey. And then like it's got, I guess a cereal. Oh, it's got like a, the sweetened cereal. Like, you know how all cereal has that like sugar coating. It kind of smells like that in here, but it does smell nice. And I don't have a lot of candles that are like honey. So I probably should have grabbed two, but I just grabbed one just to see what it was like. Another one I should have grabbed two, but I just grabbed one because again, nine candles seems like a lot. Apple Jacks. This was one of my favorite cereals when I was growing up, but I was just kind of like all cereal is my favorite. So Apple Jacks is sweet apple, crunchy cereal, light cinnamon, and vanilla. And I think they nailed this one like 110%. So to me, Apple Jacks has the sweet cinnamon sugar, but also that like slightly spicy cinnamon. Um, and it kind of sets it apart. So for me, I get both of those in here and I really, really enjoyed this candle. It also has a presence like it's going to give a decent throw. So I just find that these would be so fun for blending, but also so fun to throw in the kitchen. And, you know, they just kind of smell like kitchen scents to me. Okay, so then I did get two of this one because I don't have any peanut butter candles. So this is peanut butter crisp. This has notes of peanut butter, hot cocoa, cocoa pieces, vanilla, sugar, cereal, and powdered sugar. Remember what I said about the 100,000 notes? And this has got like the salty, nutty, it's very gourmand. The peanut butter is, is just, it's really like um, when you dip your knife into the peanut butter before you taste it, you know how you get mostly salt with a hint of sweet? That's what I get here. I get mostly salt with a hint of sweet. So we're going to see how this does. I got two of them. I really hope it burns well. I love peanut butter. I could put peanut butter on anything. So I was really excited that they came out with a peanut butter candle. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. And then my last one, which again, I may get some more, you guys, just because I really like these scents a lot, but I wanted to try them for myself. I grabbed a Jungle Pebbles, which is Fruity Pebbles. Sorry guys, you know the neighbors are out there doing their thing and the dog just wanted to let me know. So Jungle Pebbles, the notes on Jungle Pebbles, which is obviously Fruity Pebbles. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. This actually smells like Fruity Pebbles, but like the Fruity Pebbles cereal bar. So it's got a little bit more vanilla, like almost like candy to me. So they had this candy bar that came out. If I can find a picture, I'll post it. It was like in a red package and it was is amazing. So the notes on this are wild berry, lime, lemon, cherry, orange, grape, sugared cereal, and powdered sugar everything every single one of the different fruits are in here and i really feel like they nailed nailed it with the fruity pebbles element that they stuck in here but again it's with the sweetness it's got like the candy bar to me more than just the cereal so um we'll see how it is on burn but yeah i'm really excited about this and so that is it for this goose creek haul i'm definitely going to do some current burn reviews because 
at this time, all of these candles are still available for purchase. So if there are any that I want to talk about with you all, I want to get them out so that you can get your hands on them. Um, and I'll show videos so you can see if it's sitting or if it's turning gross or anything. But sometimes for me, that isn't the biggest deal because I really like the scent. I want the candle to perform well. Um, and it does depend. Like sometimes they just dud out in the halfway point and I get so frustrated. But... I'm hearing that they actually have a really great customer service, which I got to experience a little bit this time. So in the next time, if I have a candle that really doesn't perform well, I'm going to contact them and just let them know. Just because again, <clears throat> all companies have candles that perform that way. So um, I'm happy to get some more Goose Creek candles in my life and I will let you guys know how these go and I will see you in a video probably tomorrow. Thanks. Let me know down below if you've purchased from Goose Creek lately or if any of these cereal candles remind you of your childhood because they certainly put me back to the 90s. I was a kid in like the 90s. Yeah. So, you know, 90s cereals, like Saturday morning cartoons, like the whole vibe. I was here for it. So anyway, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. Bye. <music>